just in time for your appearance today. There's a new Suffolk poll out uh, just now a few days before the big primary. And among those very likely to vote, you're up over Nikki Haley by close to a two to one margin, wow. 63 to 35. That's Donald Trump at a recent town hall on Fox News hearing some good news about Nikki Haley. Well, good for him, bad for her. Welcome to Nurk News, I'm Nurkish. Today we're going to take a few minutes to break down this clip and discuss what it means for the election moving forward. Uh, you know, Nikki Haley has not been having a good run at things lately. I'd honestly thought her campaign died a while ago, but then I'd hear about some new cringy thing she did and discover that it's still shuffling along like Biden at a press conference. Uh, it makes you wonder why. Why is she still doing this? Is it to be VP? Many of the same politicians who now publicly embrace Trump privately dread him. They know what a disaster he's been and will continue to be for our party. Some people used to say I was running because I really wanted to be vice president. I think I've pretty well settled that question. Has she settled that question? Well, I settled it about three months ago. <laughs> You know, Trump is 77 years old, and he's still quick-witted. Even a throwaway comment like that is pretty sharp and funny. Certainly funnier than whatever it is Nikki Haley's been doing. I mean, first she did that awful SNL appearance, then she made some lame joke about a Halloween costume in January, and uh, let's not forget this banger. I mean, I'm sure her combat veteran husband that she probably cheated on was thrilled with what the internet's been saying about this one. She's not working. She's here. She's down by 30, 35 points. And everybody knows her. You're not supposed to lose your home state. She did terribly in New Hampshire. She got mo the only vote she but got she has was from Democrats. a lot of money Democrats. behind her. What do they think they're? Well, they're trying her. to hurt me because of the general election. So the Democrats are giving her money, and she's playing into the game. And I think she just can't get she just can't get herself to get out. Uh, she's doing poorly in the polls. Look, if she was doing well, I'd understand it. But she's doing very poorly. She lost uh, in record numbers in Iowa, record numbers in New Hampshire, uh, Nevada. Uh, no name beat, uh, no name, we had no name. Uh, Trump's got a point here. Nikki is dead in the water and has been for some time. The only question that remains is does she know it yet? I mean, I honestly don't see a path forward with Republicans for a person who said they got into politics because of Hillary Clinton, is backed by Democrats, and has said that, quote, illegals aren't criminals. Uh, I'm not sure that person has a chance of winning anything against Donald Trump. Uh, here she is with Harris Faulkner, essentially ending her political career on live TV. This Saturday, the primary, how do you get there beyond the state when you haven't won a state yet? How do you win your first state? I mean, it's amazing to say I haven't won a state yet. <clears throat> You've only had three states that have voted. Well, it's not amazing. We need South to go Carolina's ahead and let winner take all. I mean, it, it's it's yeah, but it's, we need to let she's going to pick up more delegates. South Carolinians have not voted yet. South Carolinians have not voted yet. Fair. Look, if if you and everybody else tells me to get out of this race, I'm not telling you anything. It will be the anything. longest general election race in history. Uh, it's a simple question, Nikki. How do you win those states? Well, you get more votes. You mention things voters care about and talk about how you'll address those issues. This is politics 101. But you can't do any of that because your values don't align with the values of the party you're running in. So you just froze up and put your foot in your mouth and then started whining and complaining some more. And if all that isn't bad enough, later in the interview, she starts suggesting that Trump is a Putin puppet. I mean, does this lady have any talking points that aren't from Democrats? Because you've got to look at the fact that Trump just sided with a thug that kills well, his political opponents. He just sided with a man who goes and arrests American journalists and holds yeah. them hostage. He sided with him over the allies who stood with us at 9-11. Ambassador, I, I understand that you, that you take it that way and that that's what you heard. Um, and we'll have to see how all of this plays out. This president didn't have an invasion by Putin on his watch, the only one in recent presidents. So there is that to be said about it. I can't wait for you to debate him or somebody along the way to give Americans you say deserve that choice. And you're right about that. But we'll see. You got to win a state. I mean, th this is it, right? Her political career is over. The only reason I could think of why she's still continuing is to milk funding from donors. Uh, if you're a Nikki Haley supporter, I'm I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. She she sucks. She just sucks. She's Hillary 2.0, and while she's doing her little pity party tour, Trump just keeps building momentum. 
It's like he has this kind of superpower where attacks on him only make him stronger. Letitia James, Fani Willis, Angron, all those people have turned out to be some of his best campaign managers recently. And uh, what does Nikki Haley have? The support of backstabbing Democrats and a husband that she probably cheated on. But let me know what you think. Is Nikki Haley's political career over? Is there a possibility that she could win a primary in any state? Let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. That stuff really does help us out. Until then, this has been Nerk News. Thanks for watching. Bye!